launch of the Shenzhou 16 spacecraft and another milestone in China's ambitious space program. The three-person crew includes a civilian for the first time, academic Gui Haichao, who is serving as the team's aerospace systems specialist. The carrier rocket has launched the Shenzhou 16 manned spacecraft to the predetermined orbit. The solar panels are extended and functioning normally. I declare the launch mission a success. The men will replace the crew from a previous Shenzhou mission and will live aboard the Tiangong space station orbiting Earth for five months. Their tasks include maintaining equipment, spacewalks, and conducting scientific experiments in quantum theory, relativity, and space-time. The space station is basically a huge laboratory. And it's a laboratory that's going to be increasingly filled with a variety of experiments and technologies from around the world. And so that is intended to, um, you know, so the, the reason why there's a civilian is a civilian is a scientist, an academic. And you need somebody with the skill and the experience and the knowledge of how to operate, maintain, you know, delicate equipment. And that can't be done with people usually from a military background. All astronauts on previous missions have been part of the People's Liberation Army. The space program is a source of national pride. It's remained a priority throughout the pandemic and despite a slowing economy. Completed late last year, the Tiangong is a crucial step in China's long-term space goals, including putting a crewed mission on the moon by 2030 and eventually hosting tourists and astronauts from other countries. But there are concerns about links to the military. Most launches to date have had government or military purposes. The United States excluded China from the International Space Station in 2011 and banned it from working with NASA due to security concerns. China's achievements are challenging U.S. dominance in space. The Pentagon predicts that it could surpass NASA's capabilities as early as 2045. Right now, though, Washington is investing more than Beijing, and it has a much larger network of international, academic and commercial partners. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.